Welcome back here to SMM 2010. We're going to restart the game actually happening here. Had a little bit of trouble with a glitch going out with, uh, for some reason, the courier wouldn't actually move. I uh, was in control of Fate, one of the guys from Invasion. Uh, and, of course, that has all been... Uh Fixed up, so we should all be a good to ready to rock and rumble. We go to AP mode is uh, where we're headed for this match. And because uh, the heroes will roll themselves out. Kelly, of course, is joining myself, Toby One, uh, for this commentary for this evening, or this morning, this today, around that time. So I just run us through very, very quickly, a bit of a recap for what we've actually got for the, for the teams. Oh, for the skill side, you do have the OD, the Spectre, the Enigma, the VS, and the Venomancer. For the Sentinel, we had the Storm Spirit, Tide Hunter, SF, CM. Uh, what was one more hero? <laughs> oh yeah, and the Night Stalker. I mean, we haven't seen Night Stalker in this this whole competition at all. Not only for the stage match, I haven't seen it. I've been walking around and looking at games. Really interesting why they beat Night Stalker. Uh, the player for Night Stalker is Lux. Um, they have actually for Scythe Gaming. They've been playing together for quite some time. Some of the players used to be ex teammate. They used mm -hmm. to be, um, you know, they used to play a lot together. Now that they are back together again, we're gonna see a really solid play for here. They need to win this because in their group stage, they did drop against against uh, Nirvana Nirvana Gigabyte. So to proceed, they will need to win this. Yeah, they, def they definitely do. So there's always a lot on the line, especially if you're at a big tournament like this. We are getting to the end of the group brackets. There's a lot of people out there. It's just like, okay, we've really, really get on got to get on top of all, of all of our action. We can't lose a single game. If we get behind by one game, even then that's just crippling in a tournament like this one. What I'm really, really interested to actually see is just what type of lane build they actually go for. Like, like obviously, Night Stalker, he is a fantastic hero to actually throw around during the middle of the nighttime, but he needs support during the daytime as well. So just keep your eyes open for how he actually goes. Do you try and solo him up? so he's stronger, stronger for the night time. Do you try and support him so when it comes to night time, then he can actually get himself farmed up a little bit more. It's just there's, there's a lot of things actually go into how your team actually plays as a Night Stalker. If you remember back about two years in Dota, like everyone feared the night time. Night Stalker was just one of those heroes which just kept on appearing in so many games. And he'd hunt you down with the extra speed he gets, the ability to slow you down, to do the, do the damage as well. He can just literally munch, munch, munch all over right at the top of you. And it's quite possible again that uh, let's, now with the Falcon going off, we actually get to have the creep waves spawning themselves out and uh, we'll actually have our creep waves finally actually done it was like our, it's like our first game when we actually went for it and uh, obviously we had a couple of the bugs when the creeps did actually spawn out here no heroes have actually shown themselves just yet obviously you have all that that beautiful time beforehand we have you have your chance to actually place your wars but the lanes will come out now so night stalker going going solo up against fate the od in the middle lane jump ourselves down towards the bottom lane the creep waves are there we've got venomancer and spectra for the scourge side storm spirit is in the hands of xy on the bottom lane he'll do whatever he can the dagger's already coming off really trying to be aggressive to him on the bottom lane and mid lane has actually already been ganked as well i'm <laughs> i'm guessing kelly was watching that one as i heard the crowd get slightly excited about that one but it was a uh, the gank going through so it disappeared that night stalker wasn't actually the solo he thought he was with cm and Titan teaming up there too saw the dd room picked up there from the top from the cm so really trying to stay on top of that as well storm spirit there on the bottom lane still going up against that tri lane doesn't want to die as well keep that early aggression going on while also not losing your life you can't allow that to actually happen night stalker has been left by himself at the moment in that middle lane sf going up against enigma up on the top lane enigma already with a soul ring recipe sitting inside him so he's be waiting for the right time to try and strike on that one. What's well, like? they would have already predicted that the Enigma is going to be solo at top lane, so they decided to uh, use the SF to go and counter him instead of asking the Balana to go and solo up to the top lane. In the bottom lane, we do have the Storm Spirit, so currently we have three solo laners going up against the Spectre and the Venomancer. They are going to stack their slow. There you go, the CM is going to come in, it's not going to be a slow. They are not going to go for that one. Um, in the middle lane, as usual, it's Night Stalker going up against OD, but we will see a lot of action catching because they are playing three solo lane. That means the two catchers are going to rotate a lot. It will be really interesting to see how they use their, you know, catching heroes to rotate around the map. How, how are they, they going to ward? We can't tell you how they ward, but we can let you see. And I have seen, like, Scythe gaining put wards in really interesting places. Yeah, it's actually really interesting places at the moment. I just love the fact that uh, the Scourge are completely full, fallen back Oh, boy, that goes off onto the Ventral Spirit. Is he going to be able to take that? No, the Ventral Spirit does back off. He he did try to... He put a he put a missile stun onto the Night Stalker. But yeah, Lux is like, okay, I got this, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> He's waiting for the right time. Oh, and the Gush is going to go onto the VS. The VS does stun the Titan Hunter. He is going to get away from from that one. Uh, the CM is just going to run lanes for a little bit at the moment. In the middle lane, the OD is holding against the night soccer but the night soccer is level four and the od is level two in the bottom lane the storm is just doing well against the spectra and the vino i would say 
Yeah, they've, they've actually pulled it down to two heroes on the bottom lane. They're going to oh, go. There goes the Frost. Try and pull in K. Can they bring down the Venomancer? In comes the big, big pull. XY wants a hug. Now he's going to get coned. There's a frozen hug. He goes down. Now even put, going through with a splash on the back of the Spectra. Falling him back to the tier two tower, the tier one tower on the bottom lane. Support does come, except for the VS just standing right in front of his own teammate trying to fall himself back. One, we do actually have CM though. Great time to come on in. XY claims that kill on, on the bottom lane too. So two nil so far in favor of Slath Gaming. Well, we are gonna when you know when the fun start, when nighttime starts. That's when the the fun start because the night soccer mm -hmm. is going to Han. Yeah, that he will, because he is very, very continuing on actually getting that early farm, getting those early levels as well, uh, giving that just a little bit of a stronger ability to actually be a lot, uh, actually in the middle of it. Of course, we are only in the middle of the day at the moment, so it's going to be a little bit longer um, before he actually has that time to shine. But this is what I was talking about earlier on before we actually start the game. Night Stalker, how do you play him? Do you have him as support? Do you run him as solo? And uh, basically, Scythe Gaming have done both. They've uh, said, okay, you can solo at the middle lane, you can go against OD, and we'll give you that extra advantage through, the, through that gank which came through CM and Tidehunter, and uh, basically you can go with that, roll with that, try and stay on top of it as well, and even now OD has fallen back from that middle lane, allowing Night Stalker to free farm down there right in front of his own tower, so he's quite happy to do whatever he wants, he's got perfect vision all, all over the edge as well, and it's just like, well, cool, I'm allowed to free farm, it's only another couple of hours before night time, and um, that's when I can start to roam out, but he must be at level 6 before that night time comes. Yeah, and SF does have a bottle at the top lane, so with, with the crowd, and, and he does do like two razors onto all the, the minions of the Enigma. I see they want to go for bottom lane at the moment. Storm Spirit getting caught out. There's always been one stun. The Frost coming off. CM and Titan are coming from the side. Splash goes out in Spectra. We do lose our carry, but a big, big anchor smash comes right over the top. Make sure they actually get carry for carry at the moment. And now it's the balance support heroes on the bottom lane. CM pushing him back. The Venom of Plague Wars is sitting inside the trees at the moment. They're quite happy to have a go, um, but that's just going to hold that lane in place. But carry for carry on the bottom lane. You can't really say it went a bad way for him, but I just love the fact that Enigma is really pushing back this SF on the top lane. Like, Zill is just having a great old time, just pushing it back, using those conversions, but they don't stay out for much longer just because that SF raise. And um, Sorcerer has also rejoined that bottom lane too now, so Sentinel reclaiming that bottom lane. Well, the OD is just like eternaling the Night Stalker all the time, but yeah, he's going to be level 6 soon and it's going to be night time soon. He's going to go out to catch. Not sure if he's going to get a bottle because a bottle will be really helpful at the moment for the Night mm -hmm. Stalker. The Storm Spirit is probably just going to stay in lane. Farm up uh, SO. S is the SF. That's what he's going to do. He does have the bottle. There is a crawl. He can stay in lane all the time. And the SF is probably going to go for a dagger by, let me see, 14 minutes. I'll see a dagger here by 14 minutes for sure. In the bottom lane, the support heroes are just trying to pressure um, the Storm Spirit back. But the thing is, the Storm Spirit is a range hero. Uh, he can escape fast. He has the Voltex Ball soon. Mm -hmm. So I don't really see him getting caught at the moment. No, he is hard to catch, and you've really got to keep that permanent stun going on him when you actually do so. Now it looks like CM getting caught out slightly. They've already got the Spectral Dagger that's watching her move herself back a little bit further. Spectral coming back oh, into that lane now. Oh, are we going to see a gush? They thought, are they, they going to go for the catch? Okay. There, there you go. The BS is going to get stunned. BS is definitely going to go down. Is he going to be able to take down Venomancer? The Storm Spirit is going to catch the Spectra. Is the Spectra going to go down? He is the carry. He can't go oh. down. But he takes down the CM. And is he going down? He goes down to the Storm. Are they going to take the Veno? They take the Veno. That is a trick here at the bottom lane. Here comes the Anima. That is too late. He's... Just, oh! oh the oh, 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 Storm Spirit does go down. Tidehunter is... Is he, is he going to back off? He does back off. What a play, oh, what a play what to come in that play. time. If Storm Spirit escaped from that one, it's literally Slyth Gaming should have pat themselves on the back after that engagement. But to come in, throw down the black hole, some people might think it's overkill for one hero, but when it's the Storm Spirit, you want to shut him down, especially after that battle. He knew he was dying too. Now Night Stalkers want to have a go at Obsidian and Destroyer. He's already got the void on him now. Can he keep the pressure up? And it's night time. It's hunting time. And, uh, well, OD will actually fall back here, so we can actually farm up a little bit further here. But wow, what an awesome play there by SG. But what a good, good play there by Zill to actually come down as Enigma on the bottom lane and just get that small bit of advantage back over the Storm Spirit. We're definitely going to see a sort of lane here since Night Soccer is going to um, go out and catch. And you do see at the top lane, Spectra decided to go up uh, up against the SM. Here we go, middle OD already getting pulled. Night oh, Soccer's in the middle too. Great oh, rep. It's not going to be enough though. Night Soccer gets to be absent for the end of that kill, but uh, X, uh, XY more than powerful enough to actually finish it off there with the support from CM. Even top lane now being pushed off. SF really pushing that Spectra back on the top, and he's just falling back there. The SF is still chasing up there. Creek Wave going to come up, and that will actually slow the pressure down. 
down, but uh, there's the Spectral Dagger, who I think was actually following the real one coming on through. And yeah, Spectral is doing damage. Is he going to avoid him there? Got a Spectral is going to go down to a nice soccer. He takes him now with a last hit. Uh, they're going to catch a Vino Metal there. Race that goes up onto the Vino. Vino to get taken out by Charlie. Great team play there. The Night Soccer is to be feared at night. Yeah, he, he does. You've got to keep your eyes open because there's got to be vision. You've got to keep those wards up. The ward vision does get a little bit lower at night time, um, but it's not something which can really, really shut you down. But Night Stalker, he's going to be aggressive. He's already popping up that urn. So he's in, in seven minutes in, he's already got a fair amount of gold as well as that urn and running around with the boots. So he's al already got that plus plus speed on top of him. So he's just waiting for the right time to strike. Where are they all actually hanging up at the moment? CM is free farming this middle lane, which is, well, something which should never, ever happen. CM just free farming. He's like, fair enough. She'll get up her auras. It's going to help the SF up there on the top lane. And, uh, well, it's just too, too easy for them at the moment. Ty Hunter, you saw him just running past on that top lane. There goes CM up once again. So there goes the freezing field actually going as the, as the first level. The aura's already up at three. We discussed that um, earlier on before as well with that aura. You don't really need to buff it up to level four until you get yourself maybe 15 minutes into the game. Um, but for now, level three is enough. She's just got to be more, more important um, concentrating on actually being an active hero in, in the gangs. Have those stunts. Have those slows. Well, she's still at the middle lane without any um, any pressure from the Scourge player. Do you think she's going to go for Dagger if she has money? Or do you think she'll go for like Mecha? Yeah, Definitely Mana Boots, right? Yeah, you, 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 there's, there's, there's many options you actually go for. Uh, nice Soccer spots the Vino there. Not sure if he's going to avoid him. He knows the VS is over there. He's not going to go for the Q because he knows the Ventral Spirit is behind. Oh, is he? He's trying to try to... Terrace a little bit, probably went for backup. Um, he does earn the Vino Mancer. Is he gonna get caught? He, there you go, he gets caught. He gets caught. This is gonna be Tide Hunter coming with a Ravage. Definitely going now is the Vino. Uh, the Enigma can't do anything and he gets beaten. And there you go, he does go down. Uh, are they gonna catch a VS? And I think he is because the Tide is going past the tower. Sh SF comes in and there you go. That's just his like. Perfect play from what a bait. Scythe Gaming. What a bait. It's like Night Stalker. They thought he was going to get really, really cocky. He has going no there fear. By he has no fear. He's so confident. Yeah, I thought he was going to run away, but he actually was just waiting and baiting them, baiting them to wait for his teammate because, you know, the other team didn't know that he, they were gonna get, he was going to get a backup. So... Yeah, that, actually, that, that was actually really all props actually, actually have to go out to Sky just then. Coming through as that Tide Hunter, the Ravage was perfect. It hit every single one, and that's what I was talking about with that massive, massive AoE. Everywhere on your screen, the 